Hi everyone, you are very welcome to my latest English vocabulary lesson. The topic this week is types of stationery. I will be covering all the English names of useful items used at home or in the office for writing and administration. As usual, I am posting the full glossary for this video in the word list in the description, so make sure to check that out to revise the words you learned today. Let's jump right into our lesson, and our first stationary item is adhesive tape. This can be known as a few different names. You might hear it called sticky tape or sticky back plastic. This type of stationery is also referred to by brand names sometimes, such as cello tape and scotch tape. The holder that the tape sits into is known as the tape dispenser. A type of stationery which is used for mailing and posting is the envelope. This can be used to send a letter or a bill or perhaps an invoice to a customer. This is called a clipboard. This is a small board with a spring clip at the top used for holding papers and providing support for writing. Let's move on to probably the most popular stationary item, the pen. A pen is an instrument that we use for writing or drawing with ink. Let's take a look at some different types of pen which are common. First up, we have a pen known as a ballpoint pen. If you're in the UK, you might hear someone call a ballpoint pen by the brand name Biro. Another type of pen which is less common now is the fountain pen. This type of pen has a cartridge from which ink flows continuously to the nib. A chunkier type of pen with a felt tip is known as a marker. You may also hear someone calling it a marker pen or perhaps a felt tip pen. Another type of marker which is used to highlight and indicate text in books is called a highlighter pen. These are typically used by students studying and those doing research. Another writing tool which is very common is the pencil. The material inside a pencil is called graphite. We also have the term colouring pencil. Colouring pencils are usually sold in an assortment of colours. And they are commonly used by artists and children for drawing. And when you've used your pencil or colouring pencil a lot, you may need a pencil sharpener. This is the device that we use to keep our pencil ready to use. Another tool used for drawing is the crayon. This is a pencil or stick made of chalk or wax and it's generally used by children or artists for drawing and colouring in. Crayons, pens and pencils are all useless without paper. And of course paper is the thin material we use to write on. In the office, it is common to use copy paper. This is the paper that comes in large packets and is used for photocopying and printing. A small square piece of paper with an adhesive at the back is known as a sticky note. These are mostly called post-its though. This is a popular brand name that is typically associated with this type of product. A book of blank paper used for writing or taking notes is known as a notebook or a notepad. If this is the first time you're visiting my channel Learning English Pro, you're very welcome. My name is Jer and I'm narrating your lesson today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all my videos. Let's get back to our lesson. And our next stationary item is the stapler. The stapler uses a staple to attach two or more pieces of paper together. Also used to keep paper together is the paper clip. And for larger bundles of paper, we can use the bulldog clip. A common stationary item used to remove mistakes in pencil is the eraser. This product is usually made from rubber or synthetic rubber. This is a scissors. This tool has no singular form. We always call this tool by its plural form, scissors. Our next stationary item is paper glue. This is a light adhesive used to stick paper together. For a stronger type of glue, 
We have instant glue. This is commonly referred to by brand names such as super glue or crazy glue. A piece of stationery you can find in lots of offices is the ink stamp. Ink stamps can also be used for decorating paper and as a children's toy. It can also be called a rubber stamp. The term to rubber stamp something is to give authorization or an approval for something. Let's move on to our next stationary item, which is the push pin. And these are used to keep things in a certain place, typically a piece of paper to a wall or a board. If you need to draw a straight line with your pencil or measure something, a stationary item we use for this is the ruler. When it comes to stationery, there isn't a lot of electronic tools and appliances, except for the calculator. This handy piece of equipment is useful for doing complex or simple math. A very useful type of stationery is the folder. This item of stationery can be found in plastic, hard cardboard or light card. We use it to store our documents in and keep them safe. A plastic folder is sometimes used for presentation purposes and sometimes you will hear it referred to as a file folder. Our next piece of stationery is a little bit more technical. It's called a compass. A compass is commonly used by professionals to measure things like drawings. Plus it can also be used to draw circles with a pencil. And that brings us to the end of this English lesson on different types of stationery. Let me know in the comments if you think I've forgotten any types of stationery. I hope you enjoyed this lesson and if you're looking for more English vocabulary, there's really no better place on YouTube than my channel Learning English Pro. It's jam packed full of lots of different types of topics on English vocabulary. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video especially for you. On screen now are some video suggestions just for you along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So hit that to stay updated on all my videos. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day and remember keep learning English like a pro.